um, kind of artist bounce back. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they can, definitely, yeah. definitely. It's, if they're in the same kind of genre <clears> type of area as you, obviously going to bring competition because you're going to be like, it's just a jokey thing at the same time as well, but it depends how, how you're going to take it. I've got into music quite late, obviously. Okay, you know mm. what I mean? it's calm, man. My dad was putting like 80s and 90s rap in my head. Yeah. I was like, fuck it, let me just make a group because I did this before in lockdown, but it just went down south. The things that I've like, shaped my actual rap in itself i'll probably say like the the wild west central sea album kind of like the hype from it Flat, that, that was like, that was a breakthrough in it yeah, yeah i was just like you shouldn't do certain things but the culture that comes around rap is these things yeah, so you poverty, can't see gang violence like you can't drugs, really stuff like that you can't really like prosecute people but just it's better to settle your problems with a, a boxing match than it is to just like go outside and joke someone. We do that on our own terms, and that's where we plan to see ourselves in five years. We mm. don't plan to be like put on control. A Silent lifestyle and and rap, they think are like obviously because of like what media pushes out go hand in hand. So it's like if I if I'm doing bad shit on the road, I need to start rapping. If you're in debt, your child will get the debt that you have. A unique sound is always going to be better than what everyone else is doing. The only way you can mess up is at that point is yourself, which means you can learn from it. If you have someone controlling you, you're not exactly going to be able to do much about it.